All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out another Discord music bot taking a look at Melody Music. It plays music from all of your most popular music sites, like Spotify, SoundCloud, Deezer, and Apple Music, and it also has some more advanced functionality, like a web-based dashboard that shows you what music is currently playing, along with the ability to set up a specific channel for music automatically for you, lock the music player to certain channels, and also set up DJ roles, which is nice because then you can control who can actually put in commands to the bot rather than just making it available to anybody. It also allows you to like do things like moderate what songs get put into the queue because there are songs that people find distasteful for a number of reasons, either for personal preference or otherwise, so it's nice to be able to remove those if someone comes in and starts trying to troll. So to add Melody Music to my Discord server, I've got a couple of options. I can either click on the Add to Discord button right here, which would authorize it and add it to my Discord like test server, but in this case, I'm gonna go up to my Chupacabra test server server settings, and I'm actually going to add it from the app directory. I'm gonna type in Melody Music, and then here you can see it's in one mutual server that I'm a part of with 50,000 other servers that it's currently active on. So that sounds good to me. And uh, we'll just click on the add button to add it to our my test server. I'll give it the permissions that it wants. Actually, this one doesn't need too, too many compared to with other bots, which is kind of nice. I'll prove that I'm not a Martian beep booper. And then it'll ask me if I want to join their server, which Looks like their automatic invite code for the bot is currently expired, so I might want to fix that later. And then we're going to go back to my test server, and we're going to want to check it out. It's right here in the sidebar, which tells me that it's available, and it looks like it's also sent me a welcome message thanking me for being a part of Melody Music and testing it out and all of that good stuff. So we're just going to pop back to my test server. And then the first thing you generally want to do when you're going to start playing around with a new music bot is you want to head into a voice channel because some of the commands, specifically the ones that play music or control the playing of music, don't work unless you're in a voice channel ready to listen to some nice tunes. So the first thing you generally want to do with any new bot is check out the help command to see what all of the different commands are. I love that right off the bat, Melody Music just puts all their commands in a big list. They don't have any chaff in here. They don't have a weird welcome message. It's unnecessarily every time I want to see what all the different commands are. It's just, here's the commands, go, go for broke. So basically what you can do with this is you can do a lot of the core stuff that a lot of other music bots do. It has different filters for the music. You can create a playlist, which is starting to become more popular. You can just add a bunch of songs to the queue, create a named playlist, and then just add what's in the queue to your playlist. There's those admin commands I was talking about before. You've also got some things you can pay for, like 24-7 mode, which is just the bots constantly sitting there playing music. Um, it'll show you your premium status. It's got a radio function and autoplay, along with a little, like, couple of different utility features, like setting the language and all of that good stuff, showing pings, da-da-da-da-da. But what we want to start out with is literally just let's play some music to see what it sounds like, to see how it responds. Uh, it's worth noting that I'm not recording this during peak hours. I'm recording this at around noon-ish, just before noon at like 11.45 a.m. my time. So this isn't really going to necessarily be a great test of lag when there's a bunch of people using the bot at once, but it'll be a decent enough one to give you an idea. So I'm going to just type in slash play. And this is going to pull from Spotify by a name, and I'm going to look for Alan Walker Dreamer, because it's NCS and they're not going to get me in trouble on YouTube. And that was pretty quick. It just pops in and then started playing music. And it's not like overblown, too loud, and like sounding staticky. Because occasionally you get a bot that's like so loud off the bat that it's going to murder your ears. And then what do we got next? Let's add some other songs. Let's add Jage's Bad Habit. And then we will also add 
Plague of Voyager. Or is it just Voyage? It's Voyage. I just have a list on my other screen for songs that I can add that are NCS compatible. So as to not worry about it. And then we have AC-13 Visions. And that should be pretty good. And we can use this as an excuse to check out some of the other features that it has. So you can check out the queue to see what's currently being ready to be played. We can then skip forward in the queue if we want to just jump ahead and play the next song, Bad Habit. And then if we're not certain we want to continue playing music right now, we can pause the application, which did pause properly, but then it threw an error like it didn't. So I'm not sure what that's about. But the pause command works fine. Uh, I just had an opinion there. I'm not sure what that is. Um, and then you can also do things like resume the player as well. And then if you want, you can remove songs from the queue as well. We can remove number two from the list. So we can look at the queue and it should just be what we're currently listening to as well. Now, funny enough, I did discover one bug with the bot that's a little funny. Um, they're, I guess they're currently switching over to being mostly slash commands from the previous prefix commands, because you can see over here in the sidebar, there's just plus help. Um, if you want the bot to stop, the actual slash command for stop doesn't bring up anything. Like, it doesn't respond at all to slash stop, but if I go plus stop, the bot will stop, clear the queue, and leave the channel, like most, if not all, other music bots will. So just adds up to the Melody Music uh, team, you might want to just double check that all of your prefix commands are also slash commands. This was mostly just like a bot developer thing in general, like a PSA, like, if you're a bot developer, uh, Discord is starting to slowly move people to forcing them to using slash commands to make sure all of your prefix commands are functional slash commands. J that way you'll just save yourself a lot of hectic changeovers later. So that's just the standard music controls for melody music work great. Um, some of them might need to be used via the prefix as opposed to the slash command if they're a little hiccupy. I wasn't having that problem the other day but the pause command is having an opinion today being a perfect example. But bots like this are constantly changing and they're oftentimes doing those changes live. So a hiccup here or there is to be expected from pretty much all of them. So some of the other things that we can do are we can do a setup command, which will set up a channel specifically for Melody Music to do song requests. So here at the top, it's created a channel called Melody Music, Feel the Music Beats channel. And this is like the active channel for all of your song requests needs uh, and also your song controls, which I like that they set that up for you so you don't have to do a lot of rigmarole. It's a one command setup. I've loved that since the old school version of Hydra did that, although now they're a utility bot because they got in trouble. So I'm gonna stick that down here. You can just drag and drop this channel wherever you want. It just functions like a regular channel. There's nothing special about it besides the fact that it's the one that the bot listens to. And we can also set up, if I type in slash help again, we can also set up a DJ role. So let's say like I'm a big server. I want to set up a DJ. Oh, it just deleted the command. Why would you? No, leave my, leave my slash help command alone, Melody. How dare you? Um, so I can set up a DJ role. So if we just look up here, it's set DJ slash set DJ. And then it'll want me to set a role as the DJ. Ah, it wants me to use the dashboard for that. So let's use the dashboard. I, I generally like it when you can just do everything from the Discord window, but just for the sake of argument, I will humor you. And we'll go over here to the dashboard, to the test server. So you can change a few things from the dashboard. Not a lot of things, but a few things. You can change the prefix. If you have premium, you can turn on or off 24-7 mode. You can turn on or off autoplay. You can set an exclusive text channel that you want to use for the bot. 
You can also set a specific voice channel. Like, I'm going to set listen here as the specific channel to listen for the bot. And then let's, I think I need to actually reload this page to get, yep, there it is. Let's make melody requests be the primary, like, song request channel. And then I can toggle DJ only mode. This means that only DJs can request music, can input um, different commands to the bot or admins. If you're an admin on a server, it'll also work. That's sort of a default behavior for 99.9% .9 of bots. And I can also use this pull down menu to select a DJ role. I've had some other, I need to clean up my DJ roles. Uh, some other bots created DJ roles and I never deleted them, it seems. And so I can save changes. So now the DJ role is set up and I can toggle DJ mode whenever I want. Just, just to show you guys for funsies, um, it's also got a music player right here. Unfortunately, to use the music player, you have to subscribe. Uh, it, it would be nice if I could exit out of here and click back through the menu of the dashboard without having to hit the back button, but that's the music player. It'll show you what's playing. You can queue up new stuff through the web portal, which could be a little bit more user friendly, but I don't have premium, so I don't know. Um, and then the home page just says welcome to the melody service. You can click the upgrade to premium. So that allows us to set up DJ roles. So specifically DJs can have ability to modify and do changes to the bot. So you can just assign someone the DJ role. The DJ role itself doesn't have to be special. It just has to have a name and then you just have to assign it to somebody. It could be called hot dogs or chimichangas for all, for all the bot cares. Just as long as you tell it what the DJ role is and you give it to the DJ, that's all you gotta do. Then anybody with that tag on will be able to control the bot. It'll also be controllable, like I said before, by admins. So you can also mess around with a custom playlist if you would like. So we can type in slash create, Playlist slash playlist create, and we can name this Chupa Playlist. And that has created a playlist. Excellent. So this playlist doesn't have anything in it, but we can start a queue of different songs. If I go into here and we can type in slash play Alan Walker Dreamer, and we'll just start adding different songs to the list here. Let's just add Vaj Blade Fury and Henry Werner Itty Bitty. And we'll do Sin Cole Reflect. And yeah, we'll just start adding stuff to the queue. So right now in the playlist in like the melody request channel, it's got the cover art that it could find online for Dreamer, which is actually kind of cool. And then we can go up here and it'll say like, here's some similar songs to this song that you can click on that will automatically add to the queue. So I actually kind of like that. You can kind of search for and find music organically from song to song based upon what the different music services out there's algorithms suggest. You can make use of that directly through the bot. But like I was saying with the playlist, now that I have this, I can type in the different playlist commands. So I want to add or save these current songs in my playlist that I've currently got in queue to this playlist. So let's type in slash save. So playlist save queue. And then I'll save this to Chupa playlist. Uh-oh, well, that's not good. What I was experimenting with the other day was, this does allow you to save your current song list to that playlist, and then it'll just keep making a big ongoing list that you can then check to see if there's any songs on it you want to remove later. But it appears that whatever part of their server allows them to mess with playlists is having a bit of a hiccup. Let's try this with the, the prefix. So let's type in prefix, playlist, save current.
And let's see if that will allow me to save the queue. Looks like it still won't, so I think that one's just down for the moment. But it's like some other bots that I've covered before, it allows you to just grab the list of what's in your queue and save it to play it later. Which is nice, I like that. Um, I don't personally tend to listen to the exact same songs over and over and over again in an exact list, so I'd probably just not use that. But it's nice to have it because it's something I know a lot of people are asking for in the comments of other videos. So let's type in the help command again and see if there's anything else I want to talk about while we have a moment here. So I've looked at the basic controls. You can use things like Apple Music command and Deezer command to search directly on those platforms along with Spotify and SoundCloud. Although when I was playing around with it before, I did notice that Apple Music was throwing errors yesterday, so I'm not sure if it works today. Um, DJ commands are ostensibly the music playing commands, but we can look at things like bot info. I guess bot info doesn't want to work with slash commands either. We'll type in the prefix bot info. And then it'll tell us some of the information about how long it's been up, how many servers it's running on, all that jazz. We can type in slash ping to see what the current ping to the server is. Oh, 363 milliseconds. Seems a lot slower than it's actually responding to me. Also, I think I got the wrong song in my queue. It's just the sound of rain, which sounds nice, but it's not quite what I want. Um, so you've got different basic utilities as well. You can check out profile information. You can set the language suggestions uptime and vote for it on places like Top GG to help it do better in rankings. But for the most part, that's Melody Music. It lets you play music. It generally lets you save a playlist, although I can't pro preview that today. And it has some nice admin commands and a dashboard. I love it when they have a dashboard because it makes it super snappy. Just click, 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 and just be done controlling everything. But you can also do all this stuff right here through the just slash commands. Set a DJ, set specific channels, set up a listen here song request channel and limit it to only be able to be controlled by DJs who you trust. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.